interactive surfaces are highly suitable for many different applications. For instance, typing text, multi-touch gestures, and drag-and-drop interactions. Regardless of which interaction is performed, touch screens always feel the same. They cannot provide specific haptic feedback such as a hardware keyboard which provide distinct feedback on each keystroke. Research on mobile interaction shows that vibrotactile feedback provided on each keystroke significantly increases typing performance. In this work, we investigate to what extent this approach is suitable for large interactive surfaces. We implemented three types of vibrotactile feedback. For direct feedback. We added 450 watts vibration actuators to an interactive surface. Generating low frequency signals on the actuators creates a distinct feeling of vibrotactile feedback when touching the surface. The distal feedback was provided by a small vibration actuator attached to the user's wrist, for instance, when typing on a virtual keyboard on the interactive surface, feedback is provided on the user's wrist. The combined feedback provides both, direct and distal feedback. Further, we included an additional condition serving as baseline where no feedback is provided. In order to test the different feedback conditions, we created three test applications. In a typing task, participants had to use a virtual QWERTY keyboard for entering a set of given sentences. In a puzzle-solving task, Participants had to drag and drop geometric items onto given targets. Participants had to use multi-touch gestures for adjusting the rotation of the items. When available, feedback was provided when the item was in the correct position. In the third task, participants had to steer a rectangle through a given path without hitting the border. Feedback was provided as a warning when coming too close to the path border. To our surprise, Vibrotactile feedback did not improve the input performance on the large interactive surface, expectations raised by results from mobile touch screens are rejected, moreover, tested feedback variants performed not significantly different, however, users appreciated any kind of provided vibrotactile feedback compared to no feedback.